In another video, I started flattening out this harness using the manual fan method. Let's continue on over here. So right now I have just a few location points that have been flattened out. You're going to use the information tools a lot to go to flat status to see, okay, what turned gray is this stuff over here. This is what I have already flattened. Now let's continue on. I'm going to go along this loop and just get this really long conductor laid out. So I will go to the flatten command and then layout. And I'll set my new start point at these locations over here. Here you can see the arrow showing it on the computer screen. It's automatically gone to manual fan. And now I have, I could go right to this location point, but all the wires here go through these three locations. So I'm going to save myself a little bit of time and jump ahead to this one. And so again, it's going to ask me for the bend radius, which I'll use quarter inch for the diameter of my dowel, or uh, half, half inch for the diameter of my dowel. And then I'm just going to use a value of zero for the different locations. And again, I'll go back to the information tools and flat status. And you can see that this all got laid out. You'll notice that when we laid all these out, there are no intermediate location points in here. Uh, because again, we just did that in one fell swoop. All right, let's go and advance our start point. I'm going to go start, set start point, and then lay out over here. And we've got a bunch of short conductors that are coming off over here. Looks like this looks like a location point as part of the network. What I'm going to lay out to next is this location. And again, enter in my bend radius and a zero angle. And we get the next segment in there. And I'm just going to start advancing on in here. So let's go to there. And for the next location, I'm just going to do this whole entire wire. And so let's select this point over here and same values for the bend radius and bend angle of zero. It's going to ask me a few different times for this one. I'm just going to use the same values over and over again. And that way we've gotten a, this long portion over here laid out. Again, I'm always using flat status and I can see that, yeah, we've got that all done over here. So now I'm going to go back and then go to this end. And a lot of times for me, I leave the little individual short wires that are left uh, for later. Actually, let me show you over here. Let's go and take care of some of the ones over here. So let's change set start point, change it to over here. And the next location that I'm going to lay out, let's get, now let's get this one done. I'll select this one over here and ask me for the bend radius. I'll use 0.25. And then this time I'm going to use an angle. Instead of going straight, I want it to go up over here. And since the arrow is pointing this way, I sort of like try to remember this with the right hand rule, the direction that the angle goes. If I want it to go up here, I think I've got to enter in a negative value. Uh, and if I screw this up, hey, it doesn't matter. Later on, I can go to the move segment command or the modify command to correct it. So let me try an angle of, let's do negative 30. Oh, I got it wrong. Oh, well. Uh, so that's fine for over there. Uh, let's see if I want to correct that right now. I can hit done quit out of here and then modify. And those of you who are on Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier, this modify menu might be familiar to you because uh, again, they really have not updated a lot of the core functions in Pro Harness in years. Let me change this here. If I want it going the other direction, minus 30. And you notice that the dimension changes color, but it doesn't update until you do the manual regeneration, regenerate automatic. Now we have it going the right direction. Uh, so now I can go back to flatten and then layout. And actually, I think I'm using the same start point. Let's make this as the start point over here. And I'll manually lay out to this location. And for the angle that I want here, let's see, I want to use a value. Oh, let's use the same bend radius, 0.25. And for the angle, I'm going to use a value of 90. 
There we go. I got that segment going out over there. And as long as I'm here, I might as well just lay out these individual wires. So again, let's do a manual fan. Oops, change the start point to advance it to the next location over here. And then I'll manual fan this one out. And for this one, let's have it go to, well, let's do minus 45. Oh, that's the bend radius. Let's enter in our 0.25 and the angle minus 45. And then let's do manual fan, the one in the middle. Let's do our bend radius, 0.25 and a bend angle of zero. I'll have it go straight. And then do the last one out over here. 0.25 again. And this time I use 45 degrees. So there I have it over there. Later on, when I pull in the component that would be attached over here, I'll change these back so that they are nicely going into whatever connector uh, that they are in. But for now, I'm just trying to get everything organized and out there and flattened. Let's now go to our harness command and flat status so I can see where we are. Now I'm going to go along over here and I'm going to lay out a bunch of these different cables. And again, this one, I, I hate when they have loops like this because if I start laying out all these different wires over here, some of them I'm actually not going to want to lay out even though they go to these different location points. But let me show you some of the laying out techniques. I'll go over here and then go down over here. And since I'm going to use the same commands that I've already used, I'm going to do this at a higher video speed without commentary. All right, so yeah, a little bit of a screw up. I was trying to turn this one going down, but whatever. I'll just leave this out as I have it and continue on. I always get confused with the arrow. I always try to do a right hand rule thing and I screw it up often. I, I never remember if the angle goes clockwise or counterclockwise, but that's just the way it is. And I'll continue on now. Okay, so here is a situation where I'm trying to get this wire out over here, and this is one of those loops 
that I recommended that you avoid if you can, especially when you're doing your harnesses. Uh, what I'm going to try to use is the uh, command for closing the loop, and I'll say close loop, and then select two locations, and I'll select location here, and then this one over there. And so here you see that it put in this segment over here, and I can click OK out of there, and now let's go and do a little status. And so again, the thing about closing the loop is that it put it in here, but this is still showing that it's sort of like not uh, finished out in here yet. But anyhow, let us let me see if I can finish this one off. See if I can use there. And let me see if I can manual fan out there. Doesn't like it. Yeah, it's just a pain. Let's see if I can close the loop on this one as well. Let's see. Yeah, having an issue with that one, but uh, I will figure that one out later. Let's take a look at any other ones I want to show in here, because right now it's pretty much just continuing on with the process that I already showed for how we would end up doing this. Uh, you know, you can see that there are a bunch of stragglers in here. So, for example, if I wanted to take care of a bunch of the wires over here, I'll show that. Let's do layout, set start see where I am over here and then just lay out some of these ones over here so let's have this one actually I see that the arrow flipped on me so let me do let's see if I want it going up let's just do an angle of 90 so there we go for that segment over there and now I'm just going to finish up doing some of these other different wires here. Alright, so I have pretty much done most of the main wires, got a little stragglers, a few loops that need to be closed, but sometimes what I do at this point, if I like what I generally have over here, then I will go to the auto fan command, and again it's asking for a bend radius, and just let it take care of some of the other different stragglers. Now when I go to my flat status, there we can see that ah, it looks like pretty much most stuff is taken care of. There's a few other wires over here that look like they need to be routed manually. Uh, maybe some loops that need to be closed over here, but again, we can just try to finish up, see what we can.
So there you have it. There you get the general hang of the approach that I take. And I'll be honest, I'm not great at flattening harnesses. So when people might be looking at this and it's just like, oh, wow, you should have done that differently. Uh, you're probably right. But anyhow, that is the general process and also why I recommend using the harness manufacturing extension instead when you have the opportunity to do so. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button in order to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.